Hey, good morning. Didn't see you guys there. Uh, yeah, just getting some breakfast and coffee. And I guess I just happened to have my camera all set up and recording to get this video intro. So uh, anyways, welcome to Cleese Backyard Woodworking. It's me, David. So I've designed a template for this video's project. And it's for a banana hanger stand. I've always been putting bananas in this fruit basket. They ripen quick and bruise, so I wanted to build a stand with a hook on it to hang them up on. So let me finish my breakfast, print out the template on the computer here, and uh, head out back and get started. Uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button and thumbs up, and leave me a comment on what you think. So alright, stick around and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have this poplar board. It's a uh, 1x10. So I have my templates printed out. Got my banana base. 6x7 and the banana holder right here so I'm going to spray adhesive it onto the board and cut it out with the miter saw and then cut along the lines alright so I'm going to use some 3M Super 77 adhesive Alrighty guys, so now I'm going to use the scroll saw to cut out the pattern. Let's use this right here and get this completed. Alright, everything is pretty much rough cut. Now I'm going to use the Dremel with the sander drum and sand it up to the line. And then I will shape up the banana and mark out my notch to fit this in there. Well, this sander would have been great, but I do not have one. So let's try it with this. Put in a half inch straight bit. I'm gonna cut out this mortising here. Bring it down about three eighths. It's about half the, the thickness. I'm gonna do two passes first. Alright, now I'm going to do a 3 8 inch round over on the top part of the base. Thank you. 
drilling the top of the hole with this uh, hook to put the bananas on. And I'm just going to do some more shaping and sanding and I'll attach it. So I'm going to use the heat gun and take off the paper. And uh, by the way, if you guys would like to make your own banana holder, I will have these templates either in the description below or if you email me, I can send them to you. So let's get this paper off. Everything is shaped and sanded down. I'm now going to use the Type Bond 2 wood glue and I'll stick this in there and let it dry. Then I'm going to go back and put some pre stain and then stain. So let's get that glued up. So let's take off this blue tape. Everything is dry, the glue is all dried. Alright, I'm gonna do a little light sanding. So I did a little more sanding. So I bent the hook using a pipe wrench and now I'm going to add on some pre-stained wood conditioner. I'm going to brush it on with a brush and let it soak in for about 10 minutes and then wipe it off with a dry clean cloth and then I'll go on to wood stain. Alright, so let's stir this up. This is so that this wood doesn't have blotchiness with the wood stain. Give this a good stir. Get some gloves on. All right, let's uh, have that soak in there for about 10 minutes. And I'll wipe off the excess. All right, let's wipe it down. All 
All right, now I'm gonna do some wood staining with this black cherry. There's this little sponge roller. Apply it on there. So let's open up this lid, mix it up some. And you want to apply this on, let it soak in for at least three minutes, two to three minutes. Alright, let's wipe this off. Let me just go ahead and finish the rest of this and I'll be right back. Alright, so the piece is a little bit purple. I want to get it a little bit more brownish. So I'm going to add some Carrington stain on top. And then just do the whole process. And I'll be right back when all that's done. Alright, now I'm going to put on some clear polyurethane. Probably do about two coats. Once all this is dry, then I'll go inside and hang up the banana. Alright, I'll see you then. It's finished. Let's hang the bananas. Thanks for watching all and I'll leave a link for the template I designed if you'd like to try and make one. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe, comment, and share with others. Thanks for the support and like always, I'll catch you later.